Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Trang in southern Thailand and this province has some unbelievably spicy, ultra flavorful curry and traditional food. And today we're going to a restaurant that specializes in traditional southern Thai food of Trang. They have some extremely unique dishes. We've arranged to go watch them as they cook. I'm extremely excited and I cannot wait to share the cooking, this traditional gem of a Thai food restaurant with you in this video. is called Wan Wan, local Trang food. And just as a quick story, we came here last week. We were just on our way driving from Patalung to Trang and we needed a quick lunch. We stopped by, we ordered a couple dishes. I ordered the catfish curry, but we weren't, I wasn't filming a video. And it just blew me away, especially the catfish curry. It literally is the best catfish curry I've ever had and one of the spiciest curries I ever had. And that moment, the light bulb went off. I said, I have to come back. We have to contact them. We gotta come back and make a video because this place is a true local Southern Thai food gem. It looks like she is about to start cooking right now. Another thing that I just love about this restaurant is that again preserving the traditional southern thai food culture uh, but they have so many unique dishes on their menu dishes that you won't find at other restaurants for instance gang som which is the very popular very just omnipresent southern thai dish uh, sour curry that you've seen me show in many different videos almost always it's made with fish. I mean, it can be other seafood, there can be shrimp, uh, but they make a unique version, a traditional version made with grilled pork and uh, the young shoots, the young leaves of tamarind, tamarind leaves. I need chaom, I got chaom. Ah, okay, got it. I need Wow, Kai, my Kai hand cup. Oh, that's awesome. Goose eggs. I don't think I've ever eaten a goose egg. They may not be too one up. Oh, my Kai. Cheer up, I chow um Kai up. Chow um Kai Han. Chow um Kai Han. Chow um Kai Han. I don't think I've ever eaten a goose egg, have you? It's so rare. In Thailand, at least it's so rare. They're like 10 times the size of a chicken egg, goose egg. The owner is so cool and his goal is to preserve and save these traditional Southern Thai recipes and ingredients. Uh, the That is the first dish that he's making, which is the dish that I tried last time. Literally, it will blow your mind, blow your tongue, blow your taste buds out of this world how much flavor is in that curry. The amount of spice. It's a curry that will make you cry. Uh, but the chilies in there, the, um, oh, I think he's going back to, oh, it's in the back here. He wants to show me this is also goes into the, the curry. It's long pepper. Uh, Another ingredient that goes into the catfish curry, long pepper, which is rare to find in Thailand nowadays, uh, but that's a traditional curry paste ingredient. It's like pepper, but it even is more of a soothing, like fruity flavor. So that goes into the curry paste that also makes it hot, really hot. Uh, not just spicy, but warms your mouth. And then also a lot of black pepper goes in there too. The aroma coming off of that is just insane.
อันนี้อันนี้ภาษาไทยภาษาภาษาภาษาใต้ภาษาใต้ตีกลี่เหรอครับตีกลี่ตีกลี่โอเคครับผมมันก็จะเวลากินเป็ดผม He also added a bowl, a whole bowl of galangal, and the galangal stems. He uses the young galangal stems in there. Uh, galangal, finger root, and the the long pepper all go into there to just brew along with that curry paste. That that's on top of all of the other spices that were in the curry paste already, and all of the dry chilies, like insane amounts of dry chilies. Oh, and another ingredient for the for the curry for the curry catfish curry, b a y i r a which are clove basil. Immediately, as he plucks some of that tree basil, some of that clove basil, it smells like a patch of cloves. If you just opened a bottle of cloves, it's so unbelievably aromatic. That's going to go into the curry. Catfish curry is ready, and I can guarantee that's one of the best catfish curries you will have in your life. The single dish that I ordered last time that just blew me away, blew me beyond words. I can't wait to eat it again. But he's getting started on the next dish now. พี่จะทำเมนูอะไรครับต้มต้มกะทิหน่อไม้เราเราสุกสามารถมาจากวงเล่าหรือมาจากมาจากอ่าแรกๆก็มาใช่กมามาจากจากแม่อ๋อมาจากแม่จากเราเลยคือเหมือนพวกตับปัดตะไคร้พวกนี้มาจากของเราตับปัดตะไคร้พวกปัดปัดเผ็ดพวกนี้ครับอ๋อ้ have to wait from his mom and from the drinking ดิงกิ้งคือดิงกิ้งเปิดใจผัดเผ็ดอะไรเงี้ยมันต้องมาจากของเราจริงจริงจริงเนี่ยกระเทียมเราใส่ไปทั้งหวยงั้นเลยเหรอคะเดี๋ยวสุดยอดหวยเปรี้ยวมันจะหอมกว่าสุดยอดครับเราจะถามเขาเกี่ยวกับเมนูเกี่ยวกับอาหารที่เขาเสิร์ฟที่นี่และเขาบอกว่าเป็นผสมผสานของพ่อของเขาและก็เป็นแบบอาหารที่เขาเรียกว่าผสมผสานของไทยแลนด์อาหารที่เขาเรียกว่าเป็นอาหารที่มีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมีความหวานมี Next tip, he's making the g e n g s o m with the grilled pork, salt grilled pork. So he, they slice up the pork. First, they grill the pork, uh, so it's going to get firm. And you can see they're really young, young pork, uh, very lean. Uh, they grill that up with salt, slice it into pieces, and then that goes into the boiling, bubbling curry pot with all that turmeric, with all those chilies. And then it's also going to include the the yotmakam, the tamarind, young tamarind leaves.
Then he just very gently stirs that around, very gently, keeping it very loose and keeping those leaves separated, and then pulls it off the fire, and then squeezes in a little bit of lime juice, but the, I know the, the tamarind leaves are gonna be very sour as well, so that also provides that acidity. This is the, the top of the top of chili paste dips in Southern Thailand called Nampik Meng Da, which is with the giant water bug essence. Uh, so that's what they're making next, a whole blob of shrimp paste, uh, whole heads of garlic, shallots, and the Meng Da, the water beetle bugs, go onto the fire to roast first. It's time for the goose egg omelet. My first time. Just those are huge. Here go the goose eggs. It's just the light is in the back. Wow. Wow. Oh. 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 She added in five goose eggs. The yolks are massive. I want just a, a fried egg of a goose fried egg. Uh, but she whips that up. They added in a whole plate full of chopped chilies and garlic. And then he added in some fish sauce and whipped that up. It's almost foamy. That is gonna be insane. He's gonna bring it inside to fry it in the kitchen because he needs that consistent heat. can call it a deep fried omelet, uh, but he pours in a bowl of the mixture. It puffs up, it balloons like an inner tube, uh, and just starts to flow down that oil, and he just delicately flat fries it over a very low heat until it's cooked all the way through and just golden crispy. That is unbelievably aromatic. 
and fragrant and puffy and crispy all at the same time. That comes out of the oil and then they slice it into pieces to serve. Taste test in the kitchen. My first taste of a goose egg climbing waddle omelet. Wow. Oh boy. Oh my mark up. Oh that's unbelievable. And I think they're getting pretty close to being finished with all the dishes. Uh, and again, we arrived here early before they opened. They haven't opened yet, so that's why there's no customers. But at lunch, uh, and the day that we came here, they were just packed right at lunch. Absolutely packed. Uh, so get here early when you come to eat here. But I think we are just about ready to start eating. <laughs> this monstrosity of fluffy crispiness is just five eggs. This is incredible, and being able to see them cook, uh, gather some of the ingredients before eating makes it even more special. We're sitting, eating within the farm. They also have a, well, everything is open air, but we're sitting within the farm. You can hear the geese and this unbelievable spread of food. And even the way they packaged everything perfectly. Uh, this is just wrapped in a, this is, I believe, the string of from the banana trunk. in a little packet gift. Oh, hot fresh rice too. But of all the dishes, I have to begin with that catfish curry. This the unbelievable flavor overdose. Unbelievably aromatic. The pepper, the galangal, the, the finger root in there is just, it's just blooming with spice. Oh, and the, the tree basil too. You can just see by looking at it, the complexion of it, how it's going to overdose your mouth. Oh wow. I'm just going to go ahead and proclaim this the world's best catfish curry. Oh man, it's spicy immediately. The sensation of both chili and black pepper and the long pepper that goes into there. Because it's not only spicy, but it warms you. You feel that heat at the back of your throat. The galangal in there, the pepper, the catfish just melts in your mouth. Overdose of taste buds. I cannot move on to the next dish right now. I have to stay here with this catfish. I'd like to maximize the curry sauce on this bite, on this flavor. <laughs> wow. It's not only one of the best catfish curries I've ever had in my life. That's one of the best curries I've ever had in my life. Uh, but next up I gotta try that gang some with the grilled pork with the the young tamarind leaves. And again it's so chunky, it's so it's so herbal, there's so many leaves in there. Oh wow. Did you try that gang som yet, Ying? Oh wow. Ying, that gang som is insane. I like that. Yeah. Salty and sour. It's just like another punch in your face, but in a total opposite direction as the catfish curry. Mm -hmm. It's sour, it's salty, it's spicy, and you've got that smokiness of that tender grilled pork. Linking pot. Okay. By the whole restaurant open for eight years. Okay. It's like a cake. Look at that. I'm just gonna have a, a straight piece first with rice and then I will add some numprik to it. The cross section, it's so you can see all the, the air that has uh, soaked into it. It's spongy. It's like a slice of a birthday cake. 
Oh, Mark, how But the best birthday cake you've ever had. Oh, Lord, Mark, how Got to eat it with the, the numprik, the chili dip. This will take it to the next level. The chilies, garlic, and all the roasted shallots and everything in here. Oh, you can smell that aroma of the water bug. What a, an insane combination. And I know another combination that would be extraordinary as well. Always one of my favorite home combinations is omelet with the gang sum. So this is like the ultimate version that you can possibly eat. Goose egg omelet with grilled pork curry. <laughs> Wow, what a spongy combination in your mouth, that is insane. He is doing amazing things here. Next up the Nam Prik Meng Da with the different vegetables. The bamboo shoot which he boiled simmered for a long time in coconut milk so that's going to be rich you can tell. I love the mengda, that aroma. It makes it so aromatic with that water bug. A licorice kind of sweetness to it. Kind of like anise. Um, and that bamboo shoot is amazing. It's so rich because it's, it's just the buttery cream which has soaked, absorbed completely into the bamboo shoot. It's like a lazy Susan, except on a basket tray. I'm going to revolve around to the liver. And this he awesomely fried in the kitchen. Um, tons and tons of lemongrass, garlic, turmeric, and black pepper. Oh, wow. And it's so incredibly tender. And it tastes like you just sliced off fresh lemongrass from the bush and just taking a bite of lemongrass mixed with liver. Oh, and then the black pepper kicks in. And that liver is so tender and so creamy. Yeah, he really made sure not to overcook it. <laughs> okay, another dish on the set for today, and these dishes can change, can rotate throughout the different days depending on what they have, uh, but this one is called gaiwan. And normally this is made with pork, but this is with chicken, it's like a sweet, a, yeah, this is a sweet dish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like candy sweet, but it's a, it's a pretty popular southern Thai dish, but almost like a, it is almost like candy sweet. You really taste the, the palm sugar. It looks kind of like cucumber or maybe a, a lufin. Mm, kind of feels like cucumber. Stir fried with egg. That's just plain, just good. Okay, with all the excitement and all the other dishes, I almost completely forgot about the grilled fish. This is also going to be a great addition, uh, especially with the numprik, especially with the different sauces. And I think this is just roasted plain with nothing on it. Just the natural flavor of the of the um, the mackerel. And it's mackerel, and I love love grilled mackerel. The texture, the butteriness, the flavor. I'll add some of that to the rice. And then let me go in for some of the numprik again. Onto that fish. And I like how their numprik is like dry because it's just, it's not watery. It's just the condensed, condensed flavor. Mm. Oh yeah, just the, the fresh grilled roasted flavor and the butteriness of mackerel. You can feel the, the oils coming out. Okay, everything is good, but the peak, the top of the mountain, is this catfish curry. That is just the, just insane, insane. All I can say is it's insane. There's complete overdose of flavor. Yeah, this is a close second favorite. It really is extraordinary. The combination. Just everything about this restaurant, it is a, a gem of traditional Thai food, of dishes that are a bit different from what you'd normally find 
the owner he's so cool and so friendly when you are in Trang this is a it's a mandatory restaurant to eat at it's a must eat at like do not pass this place up it's so good And we've eaten quite a few restaurants around and throughout Trang now. And this is, for me, my favorite, the best. I love the setting, I love the atmosphere, I love the friendliness, the hospitality, the just the personality or personability. Like, you're treated like family when you eat here. And I love how you get that entire set, the different dishes, uh, and the, yeah, the flavors are mind-blowing, especially the catfish curry and that gang som. That was taken to new levels for me. Uh, that entire set, and it was 550 baht, and it was just two of us eating, Ying and I, uh, but it could have definitely been for four or five or six people, that entire set. That's a lot of food that you get. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. And goodbye from Trang, and I'll see you on the next video.